It's, it's so much fun. Start with an acoustic guitar. A year later to be able to look back and like have this full song is, is a really, really cool feeling. So there's something in your eye, a place I'll never be. But I can't leave you here behind. But here I want to leave. I always really wanted to play guitar. Like my first guitar was actually my dad had built me like this like, Kleenex box guitar. So as at a really young age, like I was always messing around with guitars. It wasn't until like probably sophomore year of college actually that I was playing in a band. But that was kind of like my first exposure to like, oh man, this is what it could be like. And I kind of was like, I want to do more of this. Like, I really want to spend time writing my own song. I think every band or solo project has like a different purpose. In our culture now, I think we, we don't do a very good job of listening to one another, hearing people's stories, and even, man, even if I disagree with you totally, like, I, I should be doing a better job hearing you out and understanding where you're coming from. And, like, music is just naturally a place where we can ask questions, we can talk about sometimes difficult conversations, but it brings people together that otherwise would not be in the same room together, otherwise would not have those kind of conversations. When I try to craft these songs, uh, they're, they're my stories, they're questions that I'm asking about life and trying to figure out, things I don't always have the answers to, but I'm writing in a way that hopefully will invite others into that sort of process and those questions. If you listen really closely to the recording, you'll hear like this ocean track. Uh, and it's like a real live, like Panama City Beach, Florida ocean that you're hearing on the recording. and. Um, to kind of understand why that's important, I kind of got to take you back a couple years of my life. Anxiety has been a huge struggle from early high school to now. Really, there's, there's been a lot of growth in that area, but it's still something that's there. I, I went on this spring break trip uh, with a bunch of my friends in Panama City Beach, Florida. The goal of this trip was like, for me, it was like get as far away from this anxiety as I could possibly get, as if I could like run away from something like that. I remember like one night in particular, it was kind of like the, the, the huge party celebration night and I was around like all my friends and people that I knew cared about me and loved me, but I've, I've never felt so alone. I, like I just kind of ran away off to the beach by myself and just sitting out there for a really, really long time. As I was sitting there listening to the waves crashing around me. I was just like, these things are, these waves are huge. They're so powerful. And they have like the capability of like destroying cities and towns. And we've seen that all over the place. But there also is like, there's boundaries to the tide. They only come and go so far. And I think those waves and the power in the waves are designed to remind us of a strength and a power outside of ourselves. Fast forward to about two years ago, I knew I was going to be recording this song. I was kind of already writing the song, and I was in Panama City Beach, Florida again. I was like, you know what, I wonder, like, let me just get a, a really rough, like, voice memo recording. Maybe we could use this. That'd be kind of cool. And I brought it into the studio, and I was like, can we use this? And he cleaned it up, we were able to use it, and so the, what you're hearing is actually the ocean that I would have been hearing sitting right at that same spot on the beach. Looking for a miracle, but I can't see behind those tears. I know what they did. My most recent single, Fontaine, uh, is I think a little bit more difficult for me to talk about. It's a song is about human trafficking. Uh, a couple of months ago, I was really kind of just being exposed to the existence of the human trafficking industry, that this is a, a thriving industry. Uh, here in Baltimore, it's happening all around us. This song tells the story of a girl that was rescued from that industry and what I would imagine uh, to be her, her struggle and challenge kind of adapting back to uh, what we might call normal life. You know, how do you do normal life? How do you kind of just go on with that stuff having been in the past? And the bridge is kind of my response to that. Uh, it talks about uh, just my uh, hatred for these people that uh, take men, women, and children and uh, basically enslave them and sell their bodies off for, for monetary profit. This contrast of <laughs> hatred and these really strong raw emotions coupled with uh, a sense of hope and a sense of one day things are going to be, be be made right and that there's hope for, for people that are coming out of that industry and have been rescued. I try to 
singing about it and talk about it just coming from a place of still learning. I'm not trying to say, you know, I get it because I don't, but I don't think that should scare us from talking. The, the challenge to, to the listener is, hey, we should be asking the hard questions. We should be thinking about these things and we shouldn't be doing it alone. Hoping that it invites people to ask those difficult questions. I would love for my songs and my music and what I stand for to, um, to have an impact in the world, to meet people where they're at and to uh, you know, challenge people to, to consider difficult things, but also you know, a place to just escape and just enjoy.